know is right. Protect, defend you till the end. Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers, and welcome to my review of the Rode NT USB. This thing that we have right in front of me here. In fact, you know what? I've got a B cam. I'm going to give you some beautiful B cam goodness so that you can see what it is that we're talking about today. The Rode NT USB. In the background, everything that Chapman Guitars makes. In the foreground, this wonderful pioneering piece of microphone excellence which I'm really, really, really impressed with. Pan two new guitars that I'll show you later on. So the NT-USB, and by the way, all the audio that you're hearing today comes from the Rode NT-USB, is a USB condenser microphone from Rode. Now then, why is that cool? It's cool because it's so simple, it's so easy, might be the solution to a bunch of um, practical issues that I have in my room. You literally plug it into your computer, you don't need a mic pre, and you can just record. So let me show you the setup. Today, in my room of awe, we have sexy camera in the corner. Hey, sexy camera. Uh, normal boring cam in my hands. Rode NT-USB, USB cable. Uh, here, going straight into the side of my Mac, and then that's going into any door, DAW, DAWA that you want. Uh, I'm using GarageBand because a lot of you guys will be using GarageBand, and as you can see here, it is laying down everything that I say. See that? It did it. Everything that I say. It's immense. It's really quick. It's really simple. And um, what I'm most excited about is that as a, as a songwriting tool, what I discovered when I plugged in is that A, it sounds really good. The quality is stellar. Rode know what they're doing. I wanted to insert an expletive there, but thought against it in case the children cry. Um, because just having the microphone here, I can sing. Even if I play guitar in the room, um, it picks up the sound and it, it sounds sick. <laughs> Oh man, I can't even tell you, I've got a new pedal board, uh, I can't even tell you how much fun I've had sat here singing, uh, I'm recording some guitar and then singing over it and it's just, oh, it's just such a, it's really exciting when you've got lots of, I'm a really creative guy, you can probably tell this, when you've got loads of ideas and you sit down and you just want to be able to record, play, sing and get ideas down. Um, it's exciting when you've got a really simple, practical way of just putting one mic up, plugging it into your laptop or iPad and going to work. Do you know what I mean? Do you want to see my uh, pedal board? I'll show you the pedal board and then we'll get back to the NT-USB. So, here is my new pedal board. Um, really excited. Basically, I've been trying to get away with having a small pedal board for years and years and years. And I realized that all I was doing was sacrificing some seriously cool tones that I wanted to include. So um, in the front, I've got the little wah, I've got the Ice 9, which I love. I've got this awesome, awesome Clon Centaur copy. Um, I've got these, I've got the Thunderclaw, which is sick. And in the loop, I've got a Boost. I've got the new Polara, which is a really great reverb pedal. And you'll notice it's replaced my Hall of Fame. Flashback, and then I've got the sick new pedals I managed to blag from Moog. Uh, that's the board. You may have noticed the guitar I'm playing is a new ghost fret. It's just the satin black. Uh, beautiful satin black ghost fret. Nothing else is different. Obviously, I've got my um, Seymour Duncans in there. Really happy with that. Anyway, uh, the NT-USB. So, you plug it into the laptop or your um, iPad if you, if you have an iPad and you simply get to work. So how does it all work? What do you do? Well, it's really, really simple. He says, grabbing B-cam. Take your brand new shiny Rode NT-USB microphone, uh, which comes in this beautiful box. I've got to say, Rode have their packaging absolutely down to a T. It looks sick, apart from the bit where I ripped off and caused cardboard to look bad. You get that kind of, well, someone else said in a review that I, that I watched when I was researching this, I thought was quite good. You get that kind of Apple experience when you open the box. It's absolutely true. Uh, let me show you what's inside the box. Lots of this safety foam. Uh, lots and lots of set. That's where the mic was. This foam was around it. You get a bag to put your stuff in, which is really cool. You get a really cute little stand. 
little road stand. It's like a desktop stand in case you ever wanted to do anything on your desk, which I suppose is really cool. You get the microphone, you get the cable, everything you need. Nothing else required apart from, of course, a laptop or uh, an iPad. If you are using an iPad, make sure to turn off your automatic gain control. On the side of the microphone, there are two really simple controls. There's the blend or the mix between what's being recorded by the microphone and what's being played back by your device like laptop or iPad. And there's the volume level. It's really simple. So you take your uh, headphones. I've got these. These are the called Bose ones with the outside noise restriction or cancelling or whatever. Great for aeroplane sleeping. Um, you plug them in and you can just get a great blend. So if you're singing along to a backing track or something you've written already, then you can choose how much of your voice you're hearing and how much of the backing track you're hearing. That's really handy in one simple device. And then the volume level just affects the volume that you're hearing. So neither of these controls affect anything that happens in the DAW. It's just what you're listening to or monitoring through. Um, I like that, it's practical and it's simple. Anyway, me putting on headphones and twiddling this isn't gonna give you much of a, anything that's exciting to view or witness. So let's take a listen to some tones. So first of all, here's my spoken tone. Uh, next, let's do a little bit of singing and I'll just give you some random things and set it up for that kind of uh, abuse. So all I've done is I've raised the microphone slightly so that I'm sat with uh, the, the area of the microphone that I want to sing into directly in front of my mouth hole. Um, and I've got the microphone at the correct distance for me. I'm quite a dynamic singer, so that's going to have to be... Um, I'm going to vary that by moving in and moving away. Uh, I'm using this guard that it comes with to protect it from wind shield, it's called, or pop shield or whatever, to protect it from pops and me blowing Chapa's mouth air. Now and then when I see your face It takes me away to that special place And if I stay too long I probably wanna buy new audio equipment Oh, road microphone Dun, dun Oh, road microphone When you fall away that's the price you pay When you fall away Aromancy When you fall away That's the price you pay When you fall away Aromancy Road microphone You are so beautiful you're so sonically wonderful I don't know If anyone would buy you And not like your tone We stand and fight For what we know is right Protect, defend you Till the end We stand and fight For what we know is right Protect, defend you till the end. Now I'm going to take the microphone, I'm going to mic up the camp with it the way I would mic up with any other condenser mic, and let's see how that sounds. Here's the microphone, you can just about see it down there.
So there you have it. Hopefully um, the mic sounded fantastic to you. I think it's really, really awesome, practical solution to recording on the fly. You plug it into your DAO and off you go. I have been Rob Chapman. Take it easy. Chappers, quite considerably, out. Out. <laughs>